Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Discord Audio Pipe along with Odious Azio Link Pro to send Sirenscape or any other audio you want to send to your players through Discord in stereo. Now, if you haven't watched my initial video on Azio Link Pro, please watch that first, and I will link it in the video here so that you can open that first because this will make a lot more sense if you go there first because I will breeze through some of the initial aspects that I describe in a lot more detail in that video. So let's start with opening um, Azio Link Pro. So when you first come to this screen, as I explained in the first video, you can set the sample rate and the buffer size. And you can see I've set 48,000 Hertz and 128 samples, which is a great, pretty low buffer. As far as channels in and out, in is more if you're using a DAW or something that you're sending, say your microphone into first and then out. We're not doing that. So we don't even need to touch this. The out is think about if you use voice meter, think about A1, A2 output devices. So certainly you're going to need two channels, a one and two for your kind of your headphones or whatever you want to listen to. I'm going to set six so that we can have a couple of extra items because I want to route some audio into Discord audio pipe. So we're going to set six and then we're going to start ASIO. So again, um, uh, ASIO Link Pro installs 16 individual virtual audio inputs. So that's what all these are, one, two, one, two. These are all left and right for 16 different inputs. It shows you the linking to begin with. So I'm gonna get rid of this so we can start from scratch. So all of that is gonna be gone. And you can see I have no drivers in, no host mix. I just have these six channels that we set up. So I'm gonna pull in, if I open up my control panel, I'll drag it over from my other screen. Okay. So as a reminder, my playback devices, you'll have 16 of these. I disabled a bunch of them so it cleans up my um, sound panel, but I changed the name from the default, which would be something like um, just speakers five, speakers two. So I changed this to zero one desktop, zero two discord, which is the output from discord that I wanna hear Sirenscape and then RPG sounds. So these zero one, two, three, four are gonna correspond to these here. So my first thing I wanna do is I wanna route sound so I can hear it. So one and two are gonna be the main output puts. So if I open ASIO control panel, I've only set up this ASIO for all with Realtek audio. So I have my headset plugged into my soundboard and that's the only Realtek audio device I have. So that's my main output. Think about it like A1 for Discord. Okay, so what that means is I'm only using these two to hear sound. So what I want to do if I want to hear desktop sounds, is I'm going to left click and drag one and two. So that's the left and right of my desktop sounds. This will be Discord. So I want to hear the output of Discord. So I want to drag those down. And then this will be Sirenscape. Now in this video, what I'm going to show you is in this scenario, I'm only going to send Sirenscape to my players. So I'm gonna say for now, I don't want them to hear desktop sounds, but I wanna hear it. But I do want them to hear Sirenscape. So these one and two, so this is my third input device. So this is Sirenscape. So what I'm gonna do is pull these two down into a separate mix. Because for now, I don't wanna hear it twice, so I don't need to pull Sirenscape in, so I hear it and then out but I do need to send it somewhere and then back into Discord. So what I then wanna do is send it to this mix out panel, which this is like the um, voice meter BIO output and aux output, if you're familiar with voice meter. So think about these as like B1, B2, B3, but there's 16 of them. So what I'm gonna do, my main output, if you look at my recording device, my default device is mix one. I've had more success and it might just be psychological, but putting the mix into the second mix out. So now I'm gonna drag it here. So what that means is I'm sending Sirenscape into this ASIO out mix, then I'm sending it out and I need to pick this up into Discord. So let's uh, hop over for a minute to Discord. We'll open the voice, 
close this for just a second. So you can see my Yeti mic is going directly into Discord, which is how I always do it. The output of Discord is going to this zero to ASIO driver. So what that means, if I close this again and open my panel, that means that basically it's coming through these two channels, right? If you look at my playback device, it's coming through this Discord right here. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm gonna send the output of Sirenscape into the mix out to this output, which is mix two, so mix two, and then I'm gonna pipe that in using Discord audio pipe into uh, Discord. So I've already got Discord audio pipe installed, so let me click on it. And again, this assumes you know a bit about Discord audio pipe, but I'll link to that video too if you, if you need to have that um, and understand how to install it. But this allows you to play sound in stereo, which is super important, because if you just connected using another instance in Discord, it'll be in mono. So now I'm logged in GWT RPG sounds. So I'm gonna look for my mix two output. So that's this channel again. And I'm gonna put it into my Gwydion server and PF2 one shots. Okay, so now if we go back to Discord, you're gonna see it in there. So it shows up in there, All right? And so via the output, let's see if this, um, if you hear it now, what I'm gonna do first is actually, I want you to hear Discord, sorry, Sirenscape, um, as, it, as it is naturally, as I hear it. So first, I want you to hear it and just play a little bit so you know how it sounds without um, going through Discord. So this is Battle Begins, and that's straight, you're hearing it straight from my um, Sirenscape input. So that's a little bit of the music. Let's stop that. And for a minute, I'm gonna close this. Let's do a couple one shots and think about how this sounds. Force Missile. We'll do a quick EA. And then a sad trombone. So again, that was all directly um, as you heard it from Sirenscape. So now what I want to do is I'm going to pull this up again. And I'm going to turn off the direct output from Sirenscape, make sure that Discord is on. And now what I'm going to do is play some of that same sound. And every once in a while, it doesn't pick up right away. So let's see if it does. Okay, so now you're hearing it. It's coming through the output of Sirenscape into the outmix. And then it's going to this pro mix out, which is again, mix two. I know this gets a little confusing and then I'm hearing it because I'm hearing the output of Discord. These two channels are mapped to my headset. So I'm hearing the same thing you are, but I'm hearing it through Discord. So this audio, this bot is playing by itself right now and it's playing Discord uh, stereo. So. One other thing, let's close this. So let's do those one shots again. And remember, this is how you would hear it if you were a player in Discord. That's the force missile. And then the sad trombone. Again, that's all straight out of uh, Discord and how you, how my players would hear it if I was piping this in for them. So that's it. Um, I'll also post a link to Discord Audio Pipe and how to install that. But hopefully you can see the power of this program, how easy it is. It's very little latency, great quality, and and I feel like it's a bit more stable for me at least so far than Voice Meter and pretty simple to set up. So uh, until next time, uh, feel free to find me on my Discord and Gilded channels if you have questions, but I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please go ahead and hit the like. I'd love to get more people to learn about this wonderful software. See you next time.